Welcome back to another video, guys. We are back at the paint pad. Day two of paint, right? Day two, yep. So this is what we got going on. Think of anything, Chris, that we're, any highlights that we're gonna be doing today? No, we haven't touched it since the last video, so I think <laughs> we're just gonna scrape out anything that's soft, lay down fabric, and start building the base. Okay. See how we can go from there. We yep. got the walls and whatnot. We did, we, <laughs> we did mess up. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> heat exchanger goes directly off the base because it's a downdraft so it has to pull through and then it lifts up um, so having this undercut here is not going to work it will work for our door though from the man door to lock in so i guess we have to put the heat exchanger on that side um, not the worst thing so <laughs> what did we decide we're gonna we're gonna scrape this and then uh, as we're building the base, we'll figure out where that's supposed to be, yep. excavate a little bit more yep. to put that base in for that unit, which is what, like four by eight? Yeah, four by eight. And then at some point we want to put that thing too. That's, <laughs> I, can't, I can't stand it. Somehow it's lavender, guys. I don't yeah. even know. I don't know if you can see that in the from over there, but it is definitely a purple lavender. That was not in the spec. <laughs> So yeah, time lapse it and then we'll see you in a few. All right, guys, a little update. We got the fabric put down, so what's gonna go underneath the paint booth. Put a layer between the dirt and the Bloop. paint booth. <laughs> Here. But, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. So you probably, you probably saw Chris dump this stuff on the time lapse. These are all the pieces. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so. Yep, that's the update. So stay tuned to the time lapse and keep you guys updated. All right, guys, it's a wrap. You can see with the time lapse, got the floor put down. It's pretty much just tacked up right now, as you can see. But, uh, this is how this thing all goes together. Well, there's no directions. So it's just, <laughs> we just had to put this in here to figure out where it's gonna go. We still have a few more steps. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna grab um, uh, some base, some wall base for uh, steel studs that we're gonna throw up underneath all of these because uh, I don't like how they, how they just sit on their own. So we're gonna run those all the way down across all of them. Uh, we're also going to put plastic down everywhere. We just didn't want to put it in yet and have it get ripped up. So tomorrow we're going to go grab those pieces in the morning, move all these away again in order, roll out the plastic, put the runners in uh, for the base plate, and then start assembling everything back in order. And at that point, I think we can start zipping everything in. Um, and then we have those pieces sitting over there that are on the forklift. It's just a little C channel. It's gonna run right across here. We zip those in, that's where the wall sets in place. And then we can, so we can put those in, put all the floor grates in, I think. And that'll be that for that day, I think. Yep. And then we'll start again with the <laughs> walls later on this week or something like that. something you want to see coming up to the shop <laughs> the gates open what the heck so 
let's go check it out see what's going on here i'm not a fan of this at all all right morning guys uh i don't see anything missing so far but we're gonna go inside i think jared just forgot the gate unlocked when we left yesterday but uh we're gonna run through real quick or i'm going to jared is elsewhere today run through real quick make sure things in place get some of the doors opened and then we're gonna get started on the paint booth base um we met at home depot this morning got the plastic uh got the other support pieces to run under the floor so you know, start taking everything out in one piece after i do a quick survey run through make sure things still in place and uh start putting all that together so uh i'm gonna throw you on the time lapse here in a minute once i go through and clear the shop and then uh you guys see what's up and i'll update you in a few All right, y'all, it's about where we're late. I'm quitting it for today. Got the grates in, figuring out where we are. Over here, gonna start supporting all that in there uh, for the backside. Uh, got some of the shims. We have some other stuff we're gonna use in there. Uh, it worked out really well. It seems to be fairly level, but we have a little bit we still need to work on that. But yeah, as far as it goes, this is working out pretty good. Uh, I was gonna clean up, get out of here. Uh, Jared is here, we're doing some other stuff. He's got his own little video going on. Um, but yeah, he got back from Lodi like an hour ago. So we're gonna get this done, or I'm calling this for quit for quits for the day. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back uh, tomorrow. Get going on this. Hopefully, we can start throwing some walls up and uh, really start seeing it take shape. All right, have a good one. But uh, this is where we're at. I know you saw Chris's outro yesterday, but uh, that's where we're gonna finish up today with this floor. I hope. Yeah, what do you think? Zip up these ends, get them secured, finish leveling it, secure the plastic, and then we're ready for walls. Good deal. So that's where we're at, guys. Day three, get this thing finished up, then we'll start doing a new video on getting these walls started. But uh, it's been fun. I hate moving dirt, which is why I started trading, and here I am playing in dirt again. So, anyways, <laughs> stay tuned, get this time lapse going, and keep you guys updated. guys quick update getting these uh this angle iron right here 
all zipped in that holds this floor. <laughs> That's what Chris is doing right there. You can see we got the tape all wrapped around the outside. Probably put a face board in front of all this. That's back here to cover up this plastic. We just did that so none of the dirt actually gets stuck or it's going to be sucked through this um, the bottom side of this floor. But uh, yeah, we're not too far off. We're going to get these grates put back in the floor, get this support ran and uh yeah we'll call it good for the floor and then get this wall started but we just want to give you a quick update so stay tuned for the next part all right guys all you can see what we're doing. How this all works. All right, guys, that's a wrap. You can see from the time-lapse videos and the other uh, updates I gave you, it is all done. Obviously got the around the footing, but uh, so right here, the grates, obviously is where the tires run. This all lifts up, see underneath. So there's a filter that goes down in here just catches it it's a obviously a downflow it's all sucking ramps are going to be down there obviously this is just so we can walk on it but uh this thing's pretty cool guys i'm not gonna lie but that's it you know day three finish the floor tomorrow we're gonna start messing with the walls get this thing all wrapped up before this rain comes roscoe's running must be ready to go home but uh yeah you know everything went smooth today um it's been a rough week but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.